This is a video unlike any video I've ever done before. It's a collaboration with David's Closet, Ed Braun, and Winnie BLV, where we purchase a thrifted bag, rehabilitate it, and then you guys vote on who did the best job. This should be interesting. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So I think it was Ed Braun who came up with the idea for us to do this. And I have a few vintage coach bags that I've been wanting to rehabilitate since I got them maybe two years ago, and I've done nothing about that. Big fail on my part. So I'm hoping that the experience rehabbing this one will finally get me to try to rehab the other ones as well. This is not a coach bag. This is a brand that I've never purchased a bag from before. Now, spoiler alert, you're gonna see another video at some point where I say the same thing about the same brand because I actually bought a bag prior to this from this brand, but you're not gonna see that video until later, if that makes sense. Here are the rules of this challenge. We had to find a bag from a thrift shop, consignment shop, something like that, that was under $40. $40 guys. So that right there really limits things. So I went to goodwillfinds.com. I'll link them below. Goodwill has like an auction site, but then they also have this site where it has the bags just priced and you buy them at that price. And they go on sale sometimes too. So I looked at this brand and they had quite a few things that were under $40, but often the condition on those was kind of rough. But that's what I wanted because I'm somebody who likes a challenge and I like to challenge myself. So I wasn't looking for something that was already in pristine condition. I wanted something that had a few problems so that I could really try my hand at fixing it up. I think I found something. Let's check it out. I've already cut the box open and let's see what we have here and what brand it is. So here's my packing slip. They've got paper, the bag's all wrapped in plastic. Also, I'm already seeing something about this bag that is different from what I thought it was. I thought it was a white bag, but this is not white. And I wanted to pick a light colored bag because I feel like that's more challenging to clean up. Well, it definitely has some problems. Yep, very much what I was expecting in terms of the problems, but check this out, that is not white. Here it is against my white sleeve so you can see that color a little better. It's more like a putty color. So I don't know how recognizable recognizable this bag will be to you guys. Do you know what brand it is? If you want to take a guess, pause the video and leave a comment. Otherwise, I'm about to reveal it. Can you see it here? It is Dooney and Burke. This is their cavalry bag. It's designed after bags that were worn by U.S. cavalry men. That's why it says USA down here. So let me show you some of the issues with this bag. First thing I want to do is give this coated leather a bit of a wash because it just needs to be wiped down. It's obviously been well worn and loved. The leather trim here definitely needs some conditioning in lots of places, so we're gonna do that. See if that makes any difference. I'm not sure, because this is scuffed too, it's not just dry, so I'm not sure how much it'll bring it back, but we're gonna find out. And then also this hardware has quite a bit of wear to it, so it looks like it doesn't clasp, it just slips over that little thing and then slips up and that's what keeps it closed. I'm gonna take some Brasso to that. I don't know if that's gonna fix it or if I might need a Dremel tool to rub it down a bit like I've seen some people do with coach bags, but I don't have a Dremel tool so I'm not gonna be going that far with it. So here's the front of the bag, here's the side, and then here is the back. This is a little leather tab that I'm assuming you can, yep, you can open that. And then there's this pocket. Oh God, there's some really gross stuff in there. Ew. So that's gonna have to be vacuumed out and washed. That's disgusting. Okay, and then here's this side, the bottom, the top, and then let's look inside the bag. And this was one of the things, yikes, that is filthy. This is one of the things that I saw online that made me want to get it to rehab it because I want to see what I can do with that. It says here, all weather leather. And then if we look at the interior, 
We've got this crossbody strap. It does have a bit of a smell to it as well. Here's the interior. There's some pen marks down there, which I should be able to get out with a little alcohol. And then those pockets. And there's a zip pocket up here. There's the back of that hardware piece, which is interesting. Oh, this is interesting too. It has a little sticker on it that says $5. That's a lot less than I paid. Here's the hardware on the strap. Definitely take some Brasso to that. Try to clean up those marks. Whew, somebody really loved this bag, like to death almost, but I'm gonna try to bring it back to life here and win this competition. And the way you can vote from what we've decided right now is there should be a poll, and I will link it below, where you can vote to pick who you think did the best job on their rehab bag. And that will be over on David's Closets community page. But again, I'll have it linked below as well as all the other videos. So let's get started cleaning. First, let me show you the products that I'll be using. I'm certainly no expert. Don't take what I'm doing as the right way to clean a bag. I'm just doing things I've picked up from other videos. I'll be using this disposable toothbrush that I recently got at a hotel, some Q-tips that I got from my bathroom, some rubbing alcohol that I got from Paul's bathroom, some Brasso brass cleaner that I got from Amazon. I will have this linked below. I have used this before, it works really well. And this ultimate leather conditioner. It says it cleans conditions, softens buffs, resists water spotting. And it's by Patina, which is a brand that's owned by Portland Leather Goods. I was recently at the outlet and they have this new line of cleaners and conditioners and leather protectors. So I picked this up and I will also have this linked below. So we're gonna try that out today. First things first, we wanna clean out the disgusting pocket back here. It has ugh, all kinds of nasty stuff in it. Oh, I also have a clean rag and I have this piece of newspapery stuff that I wanna use to dump out the gunk from the back pocket. And before that, I wanna to try to take the strap off. It's one of those things where it has a button with the slit there, and I always find those very difficult, but there, I got it. Ew, there's a bunch of gunk in there that needs to be cleaned. And the other side as well, same ickiness. I'm also going to remove the little fob down here so I can clean that separately. And these pieces on the end come undone so I can take this D-ring off. I don't know how visible it'll be on camera, but this has had the flap over it so it's been protected and it's so much cleaner and brighter than the edges over here that are so worn and dry. I wonder if we can bring back this much life to these edges. All right, dumping out all the gunk. Ew, that's in there. And I'm gonna use this toothbrush to pull out the rest of it. That already looks so much better on the inside. And this is all the gunk that was in that pocket. There's an actual leaf and a paper clip and just a bunch of nastiness. The larger compartment on the interior is not as bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and give that a brush with the toothbrush too. I finished sweeping out every crevice in this bag and now I'm gonna take this damp rag and just give the bag a really good wipe down everywhere. is some of the dirt that I got off of the bag. Ew. On the interior of the bag, there are some marks. It might be makeup because there's a pink spot there that might be makeup as well. There are a couple of little pen marks, like that blue one there. To get those out, I'm gonna use alcohol and a Q-tip. Almost forgot to wipe down the strap. having some luck with this spot coming out, but the ink that's over here and then the ink on the inside of the bag doesn't seem to be coming out. I have used alcohol to get ink out of fabric before and it's worked. So maybe since this is suede, it doesn't work as well. I don't really know, no expert here. Next step is to clean the hardware with Brasso. I'm gonna start with the pieces that are not on the bag. I'm putting a paper towel down for this so I don't get the Brasso all over the towel. Here you can see there's some gunk on the top there. And this is the before, so the Brasso will take that gunk off and just shine it up a little bit. 
By the way, it does not smell good. You may want to wear a mask or have a fan blowing it away from you. Now I'm gonna wipe the Brasso off with a paper towel. There this is after all the Brasso. I got all the gunk off the top and it's nice and shiny now. It looks, besides some scratches on the back there, it looks like new. Here is the buckle on the strap and now that I've cleaned it, I can see that on the back, it's stamped right here. It says solid brass. I just cleaned this little piece and it was already pretty clean, especially the base here because that would have been covered with the flap most of the time. But there is a little discoloration and scratching. I don't know enough about hardware to say exactly what it is, but it's almost like there's a finish on it that is partly missing. And I think you'll be able to see that more clearly here. Yeah, you see how there are like different colors based on the rubbing of the metals together. So that's not something I'll be able to fix. And I don't think the Brasso will help this too much, but let's polish this piece up. Okay, I'm amazed by this. That, all that dark stuff there is just tarnish. I cleaned this half of it and it took all of that off and I just left the half so you could see the difference. I was not expecting that at all. I thought this would be something where you'd have to get a Dremel tool out. Uh, not at all. Brasso is like a miracle worker. Check that out. So now I'm gonna do this side. All right, now that the hardware is all shiny and new, it's time for the last step in the cleaning process which is the cleaning and conditioning of the leather. So I will take some of this, put it on the dry part of the rag that I was using earlier and just coat the whole bag in it, except the hardware. First, I'm gonna try it on this little section inside the bag. I am getting quite a bit of this kind of brown orange coloration coming off onto the rag. So I'm gonna switch over to paper towels for this part. Okay, everything has been cleaned. It's all laid out to dry, so I'll be back when it's dry. I have completed the rehab on this bag. It is the next day, so it's all dry now. I put everything back together. Let me bring it a little closer to show you how it turned out. So here it is with the shiny, shiny hardware. Here's the side. This came out beautifully. There is the strap on it the back of the bag, the other side, and the front again, there's the bottom, and there is the top. Now, I don't know how well this will show up, but there is some discoloration that was already there here. And then let's take a peek at the end side, searching for a clasp, but you just pull that down and then over, I have it stuffed pretty tight, so it's hard to get out. All right, open that up. Now this, I didn't get clean. Now here's something. I said I didn't get it clean. I didn't get it as clean as I had planned to when I first purchased the bag. Here's the thing. I had wanted to dunk this bag, like immerse it completely in water and soap and really scrub everything on it. People do that with vintage coach bags, but I just never got around to it in time for it to be able to dry because it takes a few days for it to dry and then get the rest of this video done because I've had so many other things to do. So that's a failure on my part, but I did everything else I could to this bag. I'm gonna take the stuffing out and show you the inside. Also here it is with the flap not covering the front, but you can see right here how clean this suede was when it was new and then how dirty it's become in comparison. It would have been nice to try to get this to be that almost white color again, but I'm not certain that that's even possible. I don't know since I didn't get a chance to try. I did not get 
the pen marks out. Those are still there on the bottom. They just weren't coming out with the alcohol rub that I did on it. But otherwise, it is so much cleaner than it was before, especially you open up this back pocket and look inside here. Oh, that looks so much better. It was so disgusting before. Also on some of the piping here, it is still dry. It could probably still use several more coats of the conditioner but I don't know when the leather is this dry and scuffed from where. I don't know that you can bring it back completely. What do you guys know about that? Any of you who have done bag restorations before. I also want to show you something else about this bag. It comes in a smaller size. So here's the thing. I bought this bag to restore and things about it looked so icky to me. I wasn't sure how good I was going to be able to get it. I didn't think I could get it as good as it turned out. So what I was going to do originally, my little scheme, was when I revealed the final cleanup of the bag to you, I was going to show you this bag instead and trick you for a minute, and then I was going to tell you the truth that I had two of them. But let me show you this one. This bag I picked up off eBay. Obviously it's the same bag, just smaller. And one difference is that it has the duck logo on the hang tag thing, whereas the other one has this DB logo. What can you guys tell me about this, those Dooney and Burke experts out there? I think you can tell how much shinier the Brasso got this one than the duck over here. So that's pretty cool. Brasso is amazing. But back to a spin on this small bag. So here we go. Everything is the same about it except the size. There's the base. Let's open it up. This one is stuffed too. And this one has a really big mark here. I was able to get the marks out of the other one. And you can see this bag was better taken care of, maybe less used and not filthy. I haven't done anything to this bag, but the inside is still just as dirty as the other one was. So I think that's just the nature of this color. And then here is the interior of it. One thing I noticed about this bag too is that it has this Dooney and Burke Made in USA tag, which this is the bigger bag. It's missing from this bag. It's not on either side there. And there's one more difference about these two bags. The larger bag here has this longer crossbody strap, so like that, but the smaller size is only a shoulder bag. You see a very big difference in the length of the straps. So a couple things for you guys to know before we wrap up here. In the description box below, I'm gonna link the website where I found all the information on the cavalry bag. So if you're interested, you can go read about that. Also remember, this is a contest between me, Ed Braun, Winnie B. L. V., and David's Closet. They are all also thrifting and rehabbing bags. So I will have all of their videos below. And on David's Closet's channel in his community post, that's where the poll is where you can vote on who you think did the best job overall. I'm really glad to have done this. Thank you to Ed for inviting me to be part of this. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.